Hello everybody, it's Rocky, and for those of you who don't know, Hueyon recently hosted a fruit character design contest. As a loyal, lifelong Hueyon user and a sucker for turning inanimate objects into character designs, I immediately jumped for joy when I saw this cross my Instagram feed. I did put off making this video until after the results were out, so there'd be no suspense and I can now safely say that I did not place in the winners at all. Which I completely expected, I believe Hueyon said there were over 700 entries, and I saw some really amazing ones. I did this out of love for Hueyon and making cute characters, not to win. Which I, I know it sounds like I'm absolutely writing Hueyon right now, but hyping up my favorite purchases of choice is just a bit that I've been way too committed to for years now. I'm not sponsored or even a particularly active consumer, I just like being a hype man and brand competitions I'm not a part of. Now I am in absolutely no way whatsoever a character design expert, nor do I think I'm even particularly good at it, but it is something that I very much enjoy, so I was very excited to get to do this. I started with very rough scribbles of various fruit ideas to map out shapes, and then I did sketches of my two favorites, which were the cherry and the banana girl. Hueyon allowed everyone to enter up to three entries, and I fully intended to enter both girls, but June kicked my ass, and I didn't get cherry done until the last day of June. And then after that, I was too focused on art fight to really have the motivation to draw the second piece. I do wish I had entered her, but alas, it is what it is, I suppose. My first instinct with Cherry was to do something 80s or glam rock inspired, but not only is that something I've done before all the time, but it's also just a pretty common trope with Cherry themed characters, so I decided to do a more 50s inspired style, which also is not that original even just in my own designs, but that's okay. I do think I could have done a much better job at coming up with an outfit for her, perhaps I'll redesign her after this. I originally planned on giving her afro puffs, but decided that in terms of shape, that those would be much more suited for a character that was inspired off of like raspberries or grapes or something. And I also wanted to try something that I don't draw as much, which I don't draw braids very often, so that's what we went with. I wanted her twin tails to imitate cherry stems, but I'm not sure if that came through but a few people did point it out, so I, I think it did, at least decently. When I was a kid, I remember having a bunch of these hair ties that had like plastic balls on them, and I think they're super cute and they're my go-to when giving characters twin tails, and exaggerating their size a bit seems to make them imitate cherries better, at least I think so. Which I've done more than once in designs now. I'm saying this at my desk in front of my Sakura Miku figure, and I'm realizing that this habit may have subconsciously come from her. In general, I try to add elements to her design in pairs, like a cherry. Her stem has two tails, she has two bracelets, she has two rings, her belt buckle has two cherries. It's a small detail that I don't really think anyone else would have picked up on without me pointing it out, but it kept balance to me in my mind. I try to keep general roundness and a bit of a swirl to her design, such as her round hoops or even in her hair. I have not looked at this design since July when I drew it. And I'm already wondering if I made her outfit way too simplistic. I'm uncertain what I want to do with her and the other girl moving forward. On one hand, like, I could keep them and use them as background characters in my projects or even save to use them as main characters in a side project. But on the other hand, I could make some new art of them and just put them up as adoptable so they don't go neglected. I'll probably keep them, as I'm pretty attached to them, and I doubt anybody would be interested in buying them, but if you happen to be, do let me know. They'd be cheap auto-buy, not auction, because adoptables just aren't really my thing, but anyways. I feel like the background is definitely where this drawing fell apart and where I started hating it. The idea was obviously that she's at a diner, and in the second piece with the banana girl, she was going to be at the same diner, and they were going to be implied to be looking at each other. I did totally design them to be wives. Cherry is wearing a wedding ring. Which brings me to a fun fact, Cherry's color palette was based off of a specific kind of cherry that I really like, so that her color palette wouldn't be limited to just red. But also, if you look really good at it, that was also intentional. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, I really don't fuck with how the background turned out. Not only is it kind of wonky, but I also hate how the colors look. I wish I would have taken the time to redo it, but I remember finishing this at like 4am, so I'm not even that mad. All in all, I'm conflicted about this, because while I do hate the end product, I really loved the drawing up until I started coloring the background, and I do love Cherry even if her design needs some tweaks. 
I think I played it way too safe with the simplicity of her design and could have had a lot more fun with it than I allowed myself to. However, I do think she looks like she could fit in with Amari's cast quite well as she is. And that's what I was saying with making her a background character. Maybe she could be a diner worker with Amari. But you guys let me know. Do you think I made her design too bland or is that my like over designing tendencies sneaking out? I will likely change her dress regardless because I don't think the simple yellow dress with the cherry border was the way to go for a fruit designing contest. And I'm actually really disappointed in myself for taking such a lazy way out. I was tunnel visioned on my love for cute hem patterns that, to realize how much of a cop out that was when designing her outfit. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching and congratulations to all the winners. I was checking the entries like every day and I loved looking at them all. Some of them genuinely made my jaw drop. You guys are all very talented. As always, consider checking out my socials if you'd like to see more of my art and I will see you guys next time.